we're talking about landslips in this area um, within the Black Mountains, the scenery, and then oh, yeah, for look sure. at the wonky church. That's but our it church. Uh, our church yeah. here, and it relates that to landslips, which is why it's continually moving. Moving. So wow. it won't stay. It no, might get wonky. It's going yeah. more wonky. Yeah. yeah. It's not just, just going to completely collapse. Neil and I are dressed both in red today, how about that? We are out, this is us, our Sunday walk, uh, a shorter walk today. We both need to return back to work tomorrow, uh, need to return down via the M4, aim to do that this afternoon. We've got about four, four and a half hours, not quite such an early start this morning, it's about 10, 10, 15 I think. Today we are again in the Brecon Beacons, we're going to pick up a little bit of Offers Dyke just north of Kumwoi. Spelling on the screen, Kumwoi. We're going to do an up and round and pick up the Wonky Church. We call it the Wonky Church. We've been going there 20, 25 years enjoying the view of the Wonky Church, which is actually just there. But we're going to go up, round, down, and the sun is shining. Hi, I'm Warren Brandon. Welcome to another Lindley's video. <laughs> I look at the map and say, oh, Neil, Neil, somewhere just here we need to do a hard right. And look, there's a very hidden finger post. But fortunately, with the uh, shrubbery down, we can see it. Is there a way through there? Yep. There is. There is. Oh, my goodness. What a start to our walk, immediately in the mucky quagmire. Oh, slippery too. Neil, I think that's the church, just over there. You see the big roundy lump on the buildings to the left? I think it's there. Yeah. Can't see the wonky spire though. I do. I can see the White House. Yeah. To the left of that. There's a roadway. I think we can see the uh, uh, the wonky church. Well, the grey house, not the white one. The valley road that uh, I've parked on is the route from the, well, very near the Skirred Inn, around the corner from the Skirred Inn. <laughs> Been there recently. Um, and it goes all the way up past Langthony, Langthony, and then towards Capaliff Inn, used to be a youth hostel there back in the day. And then up to the, the Col with a Hay Bluff on the right and Lord Hereford's Knob on the left and then up and over towards, uh, well, in the open country, the Y Valley. So this road, I know oh so well over the last, uh, I don't know, 25, more than 25 years, I've been driving up and down. Absolutely gorgeous. And the weather today, it may well turn out just fine. It's staying dry at the moment. The forecast wasn't good, but we had a walk yesterday, Neil and I, um, and the forecast was not good then. I don't know if you've seen that video. It's in the playlist already. Uh, but the forecast was not good but the, the real weather was a whole load better. So you never really know. I guess the idea is uh, assume the worst, pray for the best and take what comes, <laughs> but be prepared. Right, Neil's left me behind. He's gone, I need to catch him up. <laughs> What a view. Thank you for sticking with my video so far. We're about halfway up, I think, to the uh, the higher ground along the uh, sort of Offers Dyke Ridge bit. I uh, don't think it's got a particular name, but I'm uh, looking out over, well, Yfrid 4 or Skirid Mountain. I call it Skirid because I can pronounce that vaguely. Skirid Mountain just here, slightly on my left here. And then uh, 
in front there's a ridge that I've never been up. It's not so high, 300, 350 metres or so. And then on the right there is uh, the old Sugarloaf, which I've uh, been up several times. In fact, I did a camp up on there oh, just three, three, four weeks ago. Lovely. Sun's still out. Ah, so pleasant. Warm, very mild. It's good. Better get on. <laughs> yeah, just here on the left, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Through the gate. Is it an opening? Is it? Opening. Is it? It's got steps. It's not a gate. Oh, it's got steps. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yes. There's a stay on this side. You did that with style. It's actually, it's actually quite cute. This, you know? <laughs> I like this. Yeah, nice. Ah, that's a thin bit of stone. That's a nice style. I'm not sure I did it with the same style that you did. Oh, this just opens up. This is Offers Dyke. This is Offers Dyke. Oh, okay. So Offers Dyke comes over. We're going to go up, yeah. and it goes down. Well, I don't know where it goes. Just off. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. And we're now in sort of more open country, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Offers Dyke. There we go. Yeah. Natural Trail Hill, Offers Dyke Path. Oh, maybe that's the name of the hill. Oh, yes. Hell. Hatterall Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. What does that say? Today I want the sky. Nothing but the sky. Quoted by, written by, can't see. And that's it. Edward Thomas. Edward Thomas. Who's Edward Thomas? Welsh poet. Welsh poet. Could it be Dylan Thomas? Possibly. By birth. Okay. Could be. Yeah. Could be a relation. Yeah. Mr. Thomas. Mr. Mr. Thomas Mr. anyway. Thomas. That's a good quote. Today I want the sky. Nothing but the sky. Well, a few fluffy white clouds I won't object to. Want the hills as well. Now I'm being fussy, aren't I? I want a beer. <laughs> no, we can do the beer. We're very near the... Uh, the... Uh, the skewered caravan, man. <laughs> we might have to stop for a pint. On the way home... It's a naughty ritual. It's a ritual, and it might be naughty. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Edward Thomas. Have to look him up. Yep. yep. He walked off. He just abandoned me. It's these things I have to put up with. He just... I was doing a bit of filming, you know, that nice quote about the sky and yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's kind of rubbish. Yeah. And then he just walks off. He just goes. Rubbish. Called hill walking. Hill walking, yeah. Not hill, not, not hill crawling. And he takes the right hand path, which we're now following. The wrong path. Matter, so, matter of perspective. It is a matter of perspective. Yes. <laughs> you turn the other way, the right hand path to the right side. I could have let you follow this path and I'd chosen the right path. Oh, see you. Could have done. I'll get home first. Yeah. The thing is, all the paths go the same way, really. Compasses. Really. Overrated things. Compasses are overrated. Yeah. A compass is those things you draw circles with. Yes. Okay. Oh, no, that's a pair of compass. Ah. Pair of compasses. How confusing. Sorry. <laughs> right, it opens up here. Oh. Okay, have to confess. Look at this. The path we took over there. And the path I wanted to take over there. They start off in the same place, and guess what? They arrive here. I so try I'm and not, get away from him, and he keeps coming back. I'm not going to confess that I, he was right, or I was right and he was wrong, because we were both right. I was writer. He was, well, he were writer, because I wanted the left path. Oh dear. <laughs> However, the peak, the first peak with the trig point is just ahead of us. Yeah. 
he's done it again. He's taken the other route. I don't blame him really. Hello, Neil. Oh, what? Oh. Hi, <laughs> We're now at the trig point, not quite up at Hat uh, Shoal Hill, whatever it's called. Looking out over the mountains in the foreground, we've got Skirred Mountain, Ye Freed Fall, or whatever it's called. Skirred, Skirred Mountain, I call it, uh, with the Skirred Inn uh, just in the, in the foreground. Then right over there, that is Table Mountain. I was up there three or four weeks ago with the high ground behind and the long route all the way in the far distance then goes up to Wang Wang Fa Wang Fa I can't pronounce that either the, one of the highest bits in this area absolutely and then uh, Sugarloaf just in the, uh, the nearer foreground there I was up there uh, about a month ago we did that a year 18 months ago yep. that was good Sunday that was a hot day Sunday walk hot very hot very hot Catch those videos if you haven't seen them. They're well worth a watch. We've got our last bit to do. Up to the top of Hatter Shoal Hill, Hatter All Hill. That one. And then that one. And then all the way round. Down to Kumoy. Follow us. We've just had a, a debate about the, uh, the the sign there. It's so corroded, it's actually hard to interpret. But the little acorn symbol, difficult to see, is an indicator of Offers Night Path, which continues on this way. But the side turning is down to Old Castle, little village there, never been there before. It's just nestled in the side of this, uh, this ridge. Rather nice. There's several of those uh, stones. I know there's one right up uh near the turning down to Capital Finn but I think there's several along the way it's been some years since uh, Neil and I and, and me as well and done this uh, this walk along this stretch of Offers Dyke Hatterall am I going to get the pronunciation of that Hatterall. right? Hatterall. Hatterall Hill is literally just all oh, a kilometer ahead so we'll be there in a jiffy won't appreciate the opportunity that they've had. I think it's being sold to them in a way that they should appreciate. Not yet, but maybe in 10 years time. They might. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, they're bound to. 10 years time. 20 years time. Because you're talking about not her having... You do it for the fact that a few may go to silver and one yeah. or two may go and to gold. Yeah, you do it for the ones up here yeah. and then you do make... Yeah, this path makes a change. It's a bit foggy. Right, so we're Andy Walks are about. Yep. It's not that windy up here. No. There's another stone. Come why? This way, which is predictable. We are that. on the top bit now. Now you see Warren, just so you're clear, the acorn, acorn. An arrow, yeah. which means uh, long distance Long distance, walk. but yeah. Uh, in this case, Office Dyke, you, you understand that? I now? do. And you've got Kumoy, now there's an arrow, which you <laughs> might not be able to see with your old eyesight of the 1940s, <laughs> and it's pointing that way, which means that Kumoy is in that direction. Capiche? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's taken the piss out of me. <laughs> it's good. Sorry, I meant 1840s eyesight, not 19. Yeah, that follows on the debate that we were having at the previous uh, way marker. Very good. Yes, indeed. Well spotted, Neil. Kumoy is in that direction. I'm not sure whether we're going to go any further around. I think not. So this must be, I'll have to look at the map. 
this must be the top of Hatter Hatter Hill. Hatterall Hill. Hatterall Hill. Which is the top part of the fork. So this this offers Dyke Ridge that comes down uh, all the way down there, offers Dyke, and obviously off. But at this end of this ridge, there's like a, a, a snake's tongue fork, and we've come up one side, and we're going to go back down the other to Kumwai, or however you pronounce it. Yeah, we're finding our way off that high ground now. We've done well. The weather's still holding out for us. From here, we can see the distance over the other side. Apart from the uh, the hills, obviously talked about those before. The uh, trick point is just there where we were uh, an hour or so ago and the path all the way up to the high ground Hatterall Hill and the uh, junction and coming back around this way all this is an easy grade and we've just got to get back it'll be a bit messy once we've gone down the other side Neil I think uh, down our way to the wonky church but we'll have to just co cope with that it's fantastic. This bit is really easy. Uh, just easy graded path. Most of it's uh, dry, but this is a bit uh, bumpy and rough. Uh, we should get a good view just the other side of this uh, fern bank. Uh, and hopefully be able to see some dwellings and perhaps even that wonky church. We keep calling it the wonky church. We've given it that nickname for years. Uh, I used to run a, oh, I used to run a, uh, a team works outing for weekends just a couple of times a year um, and borrow the works yellow minibus used to drive down well we didn't just come to the Brecon Beacons we used to go to the Peak District and a few other places but the Breckens it's it was about three hours for us three and a half hours for us so it was quite convenient to get out and one of the times was very much visiting the, the church we found it and were absolutely fixated by the fact that it leans over so much we should see it in about half an hour i think with a bit of luck that'll be good well no luck involved at all because i planned the route neil's left me need to catch him up again that's definitely a horse you think that's no, a horsey? Actually, no, I think it's, I think it's um, a giraffe. A giraffe. Yeah. I think it's a cow with black and white patches. No, it's a Because I grew up knowing zebra. how to recognise black and white cows. No. See? No, it's a zebra. A whole load of horses and one black and white cow. Zebra. It's not a zebra. Zebra's got stripes. Okay. It's black and white patchy, so it's a cow. Not a giraffe? No, it's not a giraffe. Giraffe's got long necks. It's a cow. It's a horse. It's a cow. The others are horses. Horse. Look at it. Which one's a cow? Black and white. That one. That's not a cow. Black and white. Patchy. Must be a cow. Black and white. Is it a horse? Is it a horse? Maybe it's a horse. It's not a cat. It's not a cat. No, it's not a cat. Maybe it's a horse. Okay, maybe it's a horse. Maybe it's a horse. <laughs> Donkey. Might be a donkey. No, it's not a donkey. Not a donkey. Well, oh, right, that is the little knobbly bit on this spur of the Offers Dyke sort of ridge. And I'd forgotten how lumpy it is. And it's got a can I use that word crevice? Yes. It's got a little crevice, a little cut, a nick on the left hand side. Absolutely brilliant. So rugged. You see though all that loose scree on this side? We've been up that. We yeah we have. Yeah, the big one we did years ago. Yeah. The plan is, the route is to go from here, just dip here and then follow the wall up. There's a double wall just along the ridge there, down the other side of the sheep. 
left and the wonky church is literally the other side yep. of these two mounds oh look here we are there's a gap yeah, why we've got two parallel walls i don't know you knew that yeah we also saw it from the top we looked at the little hillocky bit and said yeah let's do it so yeah let's do it up we go oh whose idea was this are we, <laughs> are we nearly there yet Oh, uh, we'll see. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh sweet oh Neil king of the castle <laughs> gotcha how impressive is that you can see the steep yeah just about to see the steep is it still standing? Hasn't yeah. fallen over yet. But it doesn't look wonky no. from this angle. It doesn't look wonky. I think it leans. Yeah. All right. So we've done a big sort of loop around, and we're back down to this double wall. Yeah, we're going to hit and just turn left and around. Yep. Oh, I'm on the tree. Well, coming up here in the summertime with all this uh, foliage grown up would not be so easy as it is today going down. Go on.
Well, that's another walk completed on a lovely springtime sunny day, which may well have been wet and drab according to the weather forecast, but no, nope, it's been glorious. We've done a nice circuit and finish off at the Kumoy Church, the wonky one, which is just on the side there. Uh, been out with Neil. That's me. Thank you. Another good trip out. Almost back to the car. Thanks for following along. Hope you've enjoyed the route. We've certainly seen some sights and concluded with that lovely wonky church, the Kumoy Church. If you've enjoyed the content today, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, how about doing so as well? Drop me a comment if you've got something to say about something you've seen or can make a suggestion. But I'll always get back to comments. Anyhow, thanks for watching and bye for now. Thank you.